Previously on Xenoblade Chronicles. Go for it. Uh, we. Oh my God! <laughs> Holy shit! I was like, okay, any minute now, I'm gonna just go ah, and then teleport to the top. No. Whoa! And now back to El Monado. Sneako B, back with some more Xenoblade Chronicles. Oh my god, look at Ricky doing his little dance. I can't get over it. It's so fucking fun and cute. Oh my god. But yes, when we last left off, we met our new party members, Melia and Ricky. Two for fucking one episode. How about that? And yes, you guys explained to me apparently these two are like actually some of the best party members in the whole fucking game. What the hell? Seriously. I, I was starting to get that feeling when I when I started to understand how Melia worked. I was like, oh, this is pretty awesome. She buffs and she can dish out damage. That's nice. Apparently, according to you guys, that shock move that she has is actually one of like the most powerful abilities in the whole game. Riki here is a bit of a jack of all trades, but he's incredibly tanky with just how much HP he has. Which, uh, interesting enough, you guys told me apparently that was actually a bit of a, uh, a joke on the developer's part. Like, initially, he had the lowest HP of the whole group. But then they, as I guess like a joke, they increased HP to be the highest. But then they liked it so much that they actually decided to build his whole character around that. So, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> yeah, honestly, look at him. I, I definitely wouldn't have thought he'd be the the beefiest guy here. I mean, even more so than Ryan. Like, what the heck? Look at this. Look at him go. He is just, he is so fucking swag. Ah, oh, he just keeps, keeps breaking out those sweet, sexy moves. I like it too because it sounds like he's actually dancing to this background music. Do, 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 do. <laughs> but yeah, so something else that you guys told me that I, I wasn't really aware of. So uh, I can actually switch out Shulk for my main party um, without losing the visions. That's kind of why I kept him in there. Uh, I did realize I could take him out, but I was like, but why would I want to do that? Would I lose the visions? And that's like a big important part of the gameplay. But no, it turns out I still get visions even without him in my party. I see. Okay, well in that case, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, probably switch them out with somebody else. I think I'm gonna put Charlotte in just so, well, one, I haven't used her a ton, and two, just so I can uh, also build up some uh, affinity between her and Milia and have, uh, actually be able to finish that one quest with uh, Paola. Um, I think, so according to you guys, unfortunately though, uh, Milia has very stupid AI. <laughs> uh, to get the best out of her, you kind of have to control yourself. Uh, I guess said Charla's AI is not the best either. I I don't know what about Riki. I don't think I heard much about him. But I I guess I'll well I haven't done Riki at all. So let's let's switch to him for the time being. <laughs> oh my Riki is the main character of this game. Yay! <laughs> oh that's right. Oh it's here's jump. You're a pretty good jumper, you know, Ricky. You're jumping like this, literally the size, your entire size. That's pretty good. How is he carrying this big old thing on his back anyway? You guys are surprisingly strong, aren't you, you little boogers? Yeah, God, now that I think about it, it's like getting that uh, strong affinity with each of the characters with each other, I bet really would take a long time because it's not just like one character's affinity to another. It's a, one character's affinity to everybody. And so, it, like, look at this. Look at this big old complicated mess of... Uh, a finished shark. It's like, oh my god, look at this! <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, god, trying to get everyone's heart to hearts would be difficult. I, I'd love to be able to do it, but god almighty, it would take some time. Take a lot of time. Hey, we reached blue with uh, Dumbad and Shulk, though. That's good. And god damn it, Ryan and Shulk, why aren't you two fucking yet? You should be freaking close to it, I feel like. Gotta be close to that pink by, by now. But anyway, I, f I figure I will. Uh, Head over to see if I can maybe get started on that Colony 6 thing today. Uh, have a poke and see what that's uh, that's all about. So, come on, Riki! And also, of course, we have to experiment some with uh, Riki and Melia and try to figure out how, what's, what's up with them. So, the, apparently, the main thing with uh, Riki is his ability to uh, chip away at uh, uh, enemy health with his uh, status effects. And also, his uh, really good healing spell, which I noticed, too. I was like, man, that's actually, like... Pretty good. It has a low, pretty low cooldown, and it heals the entire group. So that, that, that's another reason. Apparently, this is where like Charla begins to lose her her usefulness. I, yeah, I, I can definitely see that. And the fact that Amelia, with her regenerative uh, capabilities as well, it's basically a healing buff. That's pretty nice. One thing I, I, I'll have to test out. I haven't actually tried yet. I've I've used her uh, buff skills. I've only used all three at the same time. But I'm wondering, can I use the same one again and again and again at the same time? Like. 
continuously buff with like ether up, ether up, ether up, and then cast it for like a super strong spell. I don't know. I'm, I'll be curious, or or if I can only do the three. I I have a feeling because if I if I can just do like one again at the same time, that would again increase the like what kind of things I can do with her. So I wouldn't be surprised if that was a possibility. For the time being, let's go ahead and head to uh, Colony Six. I actually I went ahead just because uh, I want to make sure I didn't miss anything, and it, it seems I have done all this the time side quests for uh, uh, the refugee camp, so I should be good to go and get started on this. So apparently, I think you guys said that once I've moved everyone over to Colony Six, that's like the the final time I'll have a I'll be able to do these these time quests. And I think I don't know if that's a quest I have to to do myself as well or or what exactly. Uh. I imagine Juju's around here somewhere. Or maybe I gotta go go to Colony 6 itself? Yeah, I don't see him anywhere here, so he must he must actually already be at Colony 6. Is he just standing out there by himself? Uh I'm not sure where side he'd be on. Probably no, probably right here. Cause I think it's I think it's where the door is. Oh yeah, the door's open now. Okay. Uh I'm in. I don't know if it's just me, but it seems does seem like Ricky's running a bit slower. I mean Granted, I don't have the quick step gems or anything on him yet, but it seems like he's running slower than everybody else. I don't know—is that just me? Switch out to like Melia, who also doesn't have any quick step gems. I don't know—it's kind of hard to tell. It might just be a trick of the eye because he is so tiny. I mean, technically, it probably would make sense that he wouldn't be as fast because he is so small. But you know, being a video game and all, Hope Farm. Oh, we got some more uh, heart hearts out here. Don't got it. It's weird. Her, her heart hearts still haven't activated yet. They don't. They haven't shown up on the uh, affinity thing yet. Wonder why. Maybe we gotta get further in her own story or something. Juju, where the fuck are you? Oh, well, wait. Oh, somebody else. Daza. Daza, in big trouble. Daza, I have. I think that it really bad. Oh, hello, friend. Can friends listen to Daza? Some hawks is steal Daza's proof of no palm merchant status. Does I have no proof? Why did Daza get a trade? Hmm. A problem. Everything okay, Ricky here? Melly, no have to worry. <laughs> Ricky, I appreciate your sympathy, but this is person needs it more. <laughs> Daza not know what to do. Friends must get it back for Daza. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, I get it. Find the area of Colony Six Splitter Path. Rest assured. No, 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 you're way too stiff. Try this. Scotch you. Leave it to us. <laughs> I am unfamiliar with such coarse phrasing, but I shall try. G gotcha. For Fred and you. <laughs> Leave it to us, m -m mate. Oh my god. Ah, uh, Amelia has already quickly made her way up the waffle chart there. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Is that correct, Charlotte? <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Oh, I, I can already tell, Amelia, you and I are going to get along just grand. Oh, this is where the splinter path connects, I see. Oh, this is the main entrance. Oh, there's the old man. Whoa. Was there really a... Was there a colony? Once a colony here, the devastation is indescribable. It's best that we turn away. We want to build Colony 6 and restore it to its former glory. To do that, we need to move everyone back from the camp. But Regal Bridge has been taken by a pack of ferocious monsters, so now no one can cross it. Hmm, a problem. Yeah, that sounds awful. That bridge is the only way to move the refugees back safely. With some, with them stuck on one side and me on the other, we're all stuck. You eliminate the monsters, okay. Regal Bridge. Sure thing. Thank you, I knew you would. Just secure the bridge. Once you have done that, form Juju at the camp. Was he there? I, I didn't see him anywhere. I'll be waiting here. We will begin rebuilding the colony when everyone is returned. I'm counting on you. Press assure that your issue will be attended to with haste. <laughs> She's so formal. <laughs> here upon show what, what he can do. Here upon. My god! They're being stopped by these demon squirrels! I guess. Sidekicks! <laughs> and he can lead you to battle! Oh. And Peel! <laughs> Boom! Bleed! Also, poison! And freeze, too! I kill you with everything! Ricky's <laughs> 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 
Boom! I'm not doing too well. I've noticed. Me! <laughs> oh, that's right. Uh, steal shit too. Don't forget to steal shit. Did I steal stuff? I, I guess I must have. I didn't see it though. Oh, Ricky, about to die! Oh god. Boom! Uh. Oh god. It's alright, I think we're all killing things. God, everyone really hates Charlotte, don't they? Ricky, sneaky! Don't worry, I'll deal with it. Heal yourself, stupid. Uh. Really restore, yes, do that. There you go. The problem is, I can't really draw any aggro to him, other than, I guess, smacking him real good. <laughs> Hero Pun always take charge! <laughs> oh, there's still one left. Get a whole bunch of stuff here. Yeah, his is interesting. I, I didn't feel like I was doing a whole lot. I, I don't know. I get, I, it's just kind of hard to tell. I, de I could definitely see Milia kicking ass. This probably isn't the best uh, party lineup, honestly. This <laughs> These three together. Hit up on his breath, make monster sick! Holy crap! That squirrel knocked me the fuck up. Ow, he dazed me. Oh, yeah, it's also told me. So, this roly poly move is actually. Uh... Oh, wow, that was a big wind up there. Oh, hey, what the hell? Where'd you guys come from? They were. What? Wait. Whip, whip the thing out. Why am I? There we go. I'm just trying to pull my weapon out. Where the hell did these guys come from? Was it a. a May they call it reinforcements? I have no idea. Chala, wow! Oh yeah, so th that's a it's a it's different from the regular topple and that it's a force topple, meaning I don't have to break them first to do it. Um, although it, it only has a chance of it working, there's a, always a possibility that it won't work either. Ah crap! She dead. Ricky feel like you're gonna die today. Whoa! Getting hungry for your for your blood! Okay, I feel like this is just not working right. Live! Rolla, what's wrong? You are you dying, Charla? Uh, am I dying? I believe I am. I am getting absolutely kicked the fuck in. Dead. Where did those other squirrels come from? I was that is that part of the quest? We're gonna get already beaten all of them by that point. No, that was it. Defeat the additional monsters that appear to make... We're going... It's more safe. Okay. Okay, let's try switching to Melia then. Maybe that'll work better. I think it's probably bad just because I'm, I'm stuck with all the people with a really stupid AI, right? Good fuck what? Boom. Oh my god, that power. Boom. <laughs> oh, she's got a new one. Sacrifice HP or store a party member's HP. I don't know. That sounds worth it. Oh my god, Charlo's just getting fucking wrecked. I can, so I can stack up to three. It seems even of the same element. That's pretty tight. We are far from finished. Stop dying, bitch. Okay, let's try like I'm gonna stack this shit up. And now set them on fucking lightning. <laughs> on lightning, yeah, that's what I meant to say. Ricky Snicky! Get the fuck up, Ricky! Stop being dead! We're starting to look like a team! Boom! Ah! Okay, I think we did it. Yeah, sacrifice HP to restore an HP of a party member. So, damage 20% of max HP, recover ally self 481. 
It's got a low cooldown, so there's that. Whew. Yeah, this party lineup does not feel like the best idea. But I did it. Just took a little bit of time, and we really got... I feel like our, kick, our shit kicked in. All right, pour back to Juju at the ref G camp. Oh, play the animals for Storo Marsh. Lock on resist two. Hey, I got all the ones in Frontier Village. Strength up three. Weapon power two. Agility up three. Half Bloom Striker. Who is that for? Oh, hey. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look how fucking strong this is. Get the fuck out of here, Evening Sickle. You are, have been replaced. Jesus Christ, that fucking power. Jump. And it's got two empty slots. God damn. That is what I am fucking talking about. Cool. Oh, by the way, you guys told me, so it, these uh, ability boosts do have caps. So not just the quick step, but all of them. So like apparently for agility, I think you said I can only go to a maximum of uh, plus 50. So once I've reached that, just, you know, don't worry about it. And unfortunately it is for the quick step one, 25% really is just the maximum of it. Ah, it's a bummer. Oh, well. But apparently you can also sort of stack that on top of like Riki's ability, which also can increase your speed. So you still can go a little bit beyond 25%. So, well, that's good. At least there's that, I suppose. Weapon power. Boost activation rate for gyms mounted on weapons by 10%. Oh, interesting. Hello, Juju. Got rid of all the monsters of Raquel Bridge. Now everyone can go back home to Colony 6. Thank you so much. Come back to Colony 6 will solve all the problems we had here. Once we leave, we won't be coming back here again. Shall we go now? We can wait for you if there are some things you need to do. Let's get the shit out of here. Okay, we'll move out right away. We need some help to re rebuild Colony 6 when we get there. All right, EX ooh, EXP up one and AP up one. Nice. Reconstruction HQ. Yeah, that may be a little bit of help here. Why? Wait, am I, I wonder, am I actually going to be like, like Nino Kuni 2-ing this, where I'm actually going to have control over where stuff is? Or, well, well, I didn't technically have Nico, full control over that either. It was more just like upgrading places, but even so. Stuff like that, it's still be pretty cool. It's time to rebuild our colony, but we pretty much lost everything we had. So this building is still intact, because that's our headquarters. It'd be much harder to rebuild everything from scratch, though. So go need your help. How about it? To begin, we'll need materials, collectibles, and money. Just come and see me whenever you're free to help out. Don't worry, a Theron has left me in charge of the reconstruction. Oh god, and you're expecting me not to worry. Help me, Colony 6 is a more exciting place to be. House. Oh my god, we are getting in this shit, aren't we? Housing increases the population, lets you invite more people to live in the colony. Commerce make new shops open. Nature lets you obtain higher rank crystals from the mine. Special greatly increase the overall completion percentage, also lets you obtain more collectibles. Recolonization! If you find anyone who is thinking about moving to new a new town, why not invite them to move to Colony 6? Oh, oh my god, we are, we are Nino Kune doing this shit. If all their kishes are met, they. May, might take up residence in Colony 6. Increase the number of residents and you'll gain access to new quests. Wow, okay. Monster attacks. Oh my god. Uh, during reconstruction, monsters will attack the ether plants, which supply the ether need for reconstruction process. If monsters are, are present, the pace of reconstruction will drop, so deal with them as quickly as you can. Ah, oh, shit. No, stupid fucking mech on. All right, I'm at zero completion. We've got a good start, at least. Listen to hints. Restoration hint. Reconstruction needs money and items to proceed. If you have any time, uh, okay. Thanks for the incredible insight there, Choo Choo. Spotted Volfet. Oh. <laughs> That's a no-brainer. Okay, increase housing level. That was fast. Oh, boom! Chris by one, we built these three houses. A fixer upper! Probably need some fucking commerce, baby. So I don't have enough ambig. ambigalon turtle. Oh my god, 2%. Wow! The population is 16. With your plants functioning. Oh my god, this. this does look like it might be a, a quite a large undertaking. Wait, where am I? 
Oh, wow, we really changed the area up quickly, didn't we? I was like, wait, am I back on the outside? Oh, wait, am I? Oh, okay. We're just, it's looking a little discombobulating. Everything I've just built up around it, even the floor changed. So here's all the refugee people. I thought I'd be living back here so soon, but no matter how, we'll have to get the colony back to its best. Which means I've given, doesn't mean I've given up. Oh, you, you and. Oh no, what am I going to do? I'm supposed to be writing a book, but I'm having terrible writer's block. Hmm, a problem. Everything okay, Riki here. Melly, no have to worry. Ricky, I appreciate your sympathy, but come on, come on, get your head at your ass. Maybe we expected, I haven't really written much. Do you have time to help me? Maybe you can do some research. I need you to ask other residents about love. There, I said it. I said it! Are you sure this is for your book? Come on now, tell me the truth. Tell Sharla! Sharla, can you give me a break, will you? Tell me the truth or I won't lift a finger for you. Well, no, I, I can't. No! Just ask around and maybe I'll tell you later. Oh, he's digging on that other chick, isn't he? Th thank you, guys. Ask married people or those who know about love, okay? Talk to you later. Rest assured that your issue will be attended to with haste. Hero upon show what you can do. <laughs> Ricky is so excited. Oh my god, we got. Okay, let's talk to this old guy. Hey, I'm doing my fucking squats. You want to know about my record with the ladies, eh? Well, if you just want, if you wanted to go out with me, you just all I had to do was ask. Oh, oh, oh god, no, no, please. That's quite a thing to ask an old person like me. I'm old as shit. Well, one day a girl and I went for a walk in a nearby field. We fought like monkeys. Dead the story. Anyway, here's my number. Call me. And there you have it. One month later, we were engaged. Ah, passion, the drama, the spandex. Ah, anyway. I, uh, hey, you still listening to me? Can't believe the youth of today. Why the fuck did I even bother talking to you, you piece of shit? Who's this? Ah, I'm back here. We're going to make Colony 6 the best colony I was ever built. You know what? We need to make sure this happens. Tell me in greater detail. Hear that today. Blah, I don't know anything. You can't just dig up the land and wreck buildings willy-nilly. But that's what we just did. And it seems to be working. Shut up. It's like, well, wounding the boss's body, rubbing salt in his dick. We have to conduct a ceremony to bless the land. During the ceremony, a mine rock is placed upon land. <laughs> what the fuck? What are you talking about, old man? Time about tradition, Nico! Blessing the land will make it strong and prosperous forever. Back to my point. You've got yourself a dumb mission. Go collect a piece of the rock found in the peak of Spiral Valley. Exactly what we need. Are you talking about the... Oh, my God. Is... Oh, no. That's gonna be up where that big motherfucker is. Where he's standing where the freaking octopus mechon was before. He's, like, level... 90 something. I might be able to go I might be able to go behind him though. Gonna say shit. You show much potential, my young companions. But listen, there's a vicious monster in that area. Yeah, I know. I would know. I just saw that she fell on my way here. Get yourself some dynamite from the mine. I'll blast a safe route for you. Oh, okay. But I gotta get dynamite first, motherfucker. Alright, go find some divine rock. But first dynamite, and then divine rock. Hit upon! Come and do, do the things that need to be done! Well? Olga. You want to know when I got married? Not much to say, really. Only that I was happy to marry someone strong and confident. It's all about the good points, and that's what I think anyway. Never told you about my husband, did I? My husband was the best confectioner in the whole colony. Well? <laughs> and she also got something to Good to see you again. I'm in a spot of bother. I'm happy to be back and all, but it makes me think. I'd like to start up a chemist. A chemist I used to be to own one before, you see. I need to make some remedies before I do anything else, but I don't have all the ingredients to make my all purpose medicine. For you to get around a lot, okay. With the chemist up and running, the residents will be relieved. We need your tried and trip tested remedies again, Oscar. That's why I have to do it. And I won't have to worry so much about you getting hurt. Right? So first go and get hurt for me by getting the things I need for it. Okay, three arms to make my all purpose medicine. You need a chewy radish, two red dirty ends, and a serious anemone. Okay. Cover a lot of ground to find them all, but I know you can do it. <laughs> yup, yup, Melly, very clever. And he can always protect clever Melly. Ah. <laughs> uh. Watching over me is not enough. We are in need of your efforts, too. Okay, well, I got red durian. But I need some chewy radishes from Colony 9 and a serious anemone from Colony 6. Anna. <laughs> 
asking me about love? Tee <laughs> you said love. Ha ha. How about love is when you give someone a present? <laughs> That's not love, God damn it! It's just so it's someone special how you're feeling. By giving him stuff. Look at this. Look at this. Olga's so nice to me. I wonder if it's because she's lonely too. Oh, building up that affinity. Mother, mother's friend. So I will actually start inviting new people here and also getting new affinity charts. Perhaps. Look at this. Look at this. Hey, psst, over here. Kita and Kiroki have gone to fight a monster in the ether mine. It was me who said that. What the fuck is wrong with you? Are you crazy? Good idea, hey. Now the colony is safe. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> Nikita, run too slow! Nikita, get eaten by monster! Nikita, no hurry! <laughs> get away! Right, wait! Oh my god, he's gonna get me! Don't leave me! Come back! <laughs> oh my god, you're a fucking psychopath! Hey, yeah, I know. It's alright, you deserve to die. Dance for me, puppets, dance! Look, what? Monster might attack them by back. I only told them because they said they were brave enough. Now it looks like my fault. Oh well. <laughs> Don't give a shit. But we've made a good start, but can't celebrate just yet. The more elbow grease and hard we'll get there. By which I mean having you do literally everything. By the way, I finally cleaned out some of my inventory, or my equipment at least. Help clear some things up. Man, that thing really builds up quickly though. It, it's kind of hard to like figure out, you know, like what things to, to throw away. I, I kind of went more with just like the stuff that was not as recent. Okay, commerce. Boom. <laughs> Looking good. Da -da -da. All right. Shop is available in Colony 6. Restructure plus 2. Population plus 1. Three shots have been built. Man, this shit gets fucking expensive. All right, let's go with uh, nature. Ah, trees. Don't know how those random knickknacks are helping with this, but that's whatever. Grass trees have been planted. Hey, starting to look pretty good. So have uh, this dead weight over here, but we'll get there. Oh, yep. Yes. Go off to shop. What you got at the shop? Uh, whole bunch of shit weapons. Yeah, just what I fucking needed. Whoa, that, that outfit there is kind of re revealing, uh, Charla. Hell yeah, it is. <laughs> oh goodness, where my clothes go? <laughs> Panther top. Oh, that's interesting. I can't take her hat off. Hmm, that's weird. It's story related or something. Apparently that hat is staying on. You want to hear about all my lovers, eh? Yeah, no, that's off, it's off limits. What I say is follow your heart, have no regrets. Cause lonely old people are lonely for a reason. Also do shit for me. Ah, young friends, come to see your old friend Satata. Want you to do a favor, dead man. Brother Palm was killed in the Emekon attack. But Satata can't find his keepsake. Satata thinks in his room, all Thrawn hid it. Can friends get it? Start to what? Go himself. Up on feet are failing at me. Uh, okay. Collect the mushroom cap in the mining base in the ether mine. Six the mushroom cap. Doesn't suit me. Before you ask. Brother Pond used to wear it all the time. Now go get it already. I found you guy, War Warner, in Colony Nine. So we're back here. We're in the Mechon wreckage site. I don't know if I missed it before or what exactly. So I've begun re restart Colony Six. It's my chance. I have to spend the rest of my life scavenging in the dirt. Like a fresh start, a new town where no one knows me. Oh! Ah! Uh. Well, come on down, buddy! <laughs> I just found this guy because he uh, happened to have the item I needed for uh, uh, leveling up one of the things. Wait for the day you'd come and say those words to me. New beginning for me. See you around! Oh, fuck yeah! Alright! Ha huh, diggity doo -dah. Oh, now his affinity thing. Oh, look at that! And now moved over to. To colony six. Wow, there's gonna be a lot to this, isn't there? Okay, upgrade uh, special. Boom. <laughs> we made one little house for all those materials. Da -da -da. Special level increased by one. Assembly hall has been built. You can now get collectibles there. Yeah, hey, looking pretty good. Lo 
Level complete bonus. Level one. Street lights have been built. Woo! All right. We're seeing a present from all the residents. Ultra small reactor. What the heck is that? Compact fusion reactor developed for ether mining at Colony Six. Uh, what do I uh, what do I do with it? <laughs> is it? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's for a quest or something. So I can do stuff here. Does it mean I can uh, get collectibles? It means I can. Oh, oh, I see. There, I see. They just kind of show up at the <laughs> show up at the door of this place for some reason. I see. Oh, Jim guy's got a quest. Hello there, youngin. I got something that might interest you. Have you ever heard of the mobile furnace? Well, after years of research, it's now possible to shrink furnaces. Oh, sweet. I could I can make you one if I had all the right parts. It's a shame, because there's just one part I ain't got. Wait a minute. You can get me it. It's called the Ultra. Oh, my God. <laughs> Are you serious? The Ultra. Well, there you go. I was like, well, let me go ahead and check the other villages and see. I'm sure a new quest have popped up by this point. And the first fucking one I come across. What are the odds? Oh, in a colony six years of ether mining. I won't be tough after what happened there, though. Okay, well, I, I got it, dude. I got it. What? You haven't gotten it? Well, you got it. <laughs> Not a small reactor. Well, I never. I can make you a modal furnace. Hand it over. I'll fix it up in a jiffy. All right, just put that in here. Oopsie daisy. Oh, slide that there. It's not right. Goes here. I almost got it. Ta da! All done. This mass producing reactor is no longer a fa fanciful dream. I'm gonna let you have it. And craft gems wherever you want. Oh, that's awesome. I, I saw that option in my menu and I was wondering, I'm like, is that something else or is that what I think it is? I don't mind if you still kind of come around us to chat. Now, fuck you. I'm never seeing you again. Oh my god, yes! Makes my life fucking easier. Oh, there we go. Craft gems from anywhere, forever. All right, see so what the different things for shooter and uh, engineer we got. So qualities grow stronger with a medium flame. For her, Milia, uh, Riki, ambition shooter. Gym crafting process happens twice in a row. Uh, oh, wait. So I go through the whole thing twice? It seems like a awesome one. Cylinder gauge fills up more with the gentle flame. Grows stronger with the stronger flame. Gets into fever easily. Qualities grow stronger when flame is consistent. Unfortunately, though, right now, just because of the bond, though, right? Yeah. It still seems like it's better just to stick with, like, with those two. I'm all over that. I've got it. All righty. There we go. Woo! 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 woo. All right. I've got into the rhythm. I've got into the rhythm. All right. HP2 and paralysis resist 2. Lending a hand. I think for this, I think this part just got to change up. I, I, I don't. I think this might be the worst like combination because I need at least one person who's really a good heavy hitter. Because Charlotte just, she's all about the healing, but it's kind of already covered with these two. So let's go with, uh, let's go with Dumban then. All right, see so any other new quests that popped up here? Oh, she's got a new one. Let me lead her again. Hey, good news, guys. People have started noticing all the things I've done. Now Melch will take the Lieutenant Colonel test. Ah, oh, there we go! If I beat the current Lieutenant Colonel, I will take his place. Then my dream will come true. I hope I was of some help. Still early to celebrate. Haven't won yet. Oh! Oh no! You feeble, worthless amateur. Do you really think you could better me? Oh my god! She's like dead on the ground! Ah ha! You lose, lady! Oh wait, she's dead. Or maybe everyone stopped going easy on you because you're a girl. <laughs> she's not saying anything. Or breathing. What? You don't think I could lose, do you? Uh, well... I'd like to say it's impossible, but you're probably right. I doubt stay a chance even if I start intensive training right now. But I might have better odds with a strong weapon and armor. Okay. Oh! <laughs> ah, now I'm dead! And then she goes over, YES! No, I am Rage Supreme! Die! Boom! Curb stop. I won. I can't believe it. I won. No. Kill me. How can this be? Poison coated sword. You cowardly wretch. Oh my god. Okay. Whoa, that's a bit underhanded. It's the only way. No equipment I need, but none of it's ready. If I still had a while till the test, you see. A small, easy to use sword or a strong light shield. I ordered the sword from an up merchant's Toral Marsh. She should be lying 
in the Colony 6 storage area. My entire future is riding on this. You have to help me. Ooh. This is another choice one. Stuck by me this long. I know you'd help me. Actually, I don't think we've ever met before. Does this guy have something? No? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, what did he say? Okay, I skipped over that. Sometimes they just throw shit out there that totally catch me off guard. Oh, contempt. To Emmy Leader. I think that Emmy Leader would be Lieutenant Colonel Material. She's saying of a father in her after all. That said, I will not hold back. We'll do all I can to defeat her. See, you do sound like a proper Lieutenant Colonel on occasion. There's one key area in which Emmy Leader is still lacking. Until she realized this, and now she'll be able to defeat me. Until then, she's not suitable for the Lieutenant Colonel position. Hmm. Oh, I see. Okay, so I'm... I'm choosing whether she gets the Nopon Claymore or the Carbo Shield. And I'm guessing so that the Claymore, she'll put poison in it and she'll win, but she'll win through underhanded means. But the Carbo Shield, maybe she'll... No, I'm guessing that's probably the first one I saw, right? Where she does... Where she ends up losing. I don't know, I suppose she could win with the Carbo Shield, maybe, but... I feel like they showed me that one, suggesting that that's what happens with that. Ooh, that's a that's a hard one. It's like, do I help her? But it's like, but doing it through underhanded means like that doesn't seem like a good way to do it. But then should I just let her get fucking curb stomped either? It's like, ah, uh, 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 this is difficult. It's like, you know, I feel like I went through all this trouble to get her to this position. So it's like, just just let her to 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 fail at the end. Is it worth it? And the other guy's not exactly a, a, a great human being either, clearly. I don't know, maybe they'll be better off when she is the leader, right? I just, the way, it's like, I don't know though, is it better to, but then leave the guy who is a bit stronger technically in power? I don't know, is she more honorable? I, I can't tell. Maybe she, well, I mean, is she gonna realize that I'm giving her a sword with some poison on there? I don't know. She says, get the sword. I think she does, though. I. Mmm. Ah, oh, this is a moral quandary. Probably more invested in that than I need to be, but it's kind of difficult. I don't know. It's making me think. Okay, fuck it. I spent all this time putting effort into building her up. I didn't do that just to see her get her. get fucking curb stomped. So let's help. I'm gonna do this shit. Get from the Nopon Merchant. Is that not the. This is not the Nopon Merchant? Here we go. You want Nopon Claymore? I'm afraid I'm not finished it yet. Oh, this is not for sale. It's a weapon I use for self-defense. But I am a businessman. Give to you if you can bring me some bunny scented wood. Okay. Excellent. I think we can oh, I see. So she actually works backwards from the the most recent one that you used. I didn't realize. Well, she she went in order basically. Oh, okay. I cannot be reckless. After doing it here, I, I just realized, okay, I'm not actually stacking, though. If I, t if I take three lightnings and put them on top of each other, it doesn't seem to be making it uh, any str- Well, I, I guess technically it is, because I am getting three ether ups, I, I think. But I'm not casting, like, one solid big ball where all, all at once if I use three of those. Um, it's still, like, I, well, I guess it would be three uh, increasingly uh, weaker attacks, right? But that first attack with all three of them would be really strong. It is a rather complex system, really. It's sort of a little tough to wrap your mind around. It's funny you said wood! I give you no bone claymore for it. Here you go, I posture nice and shiny. How can I defend myself from now on? Nobody cares about you, no pawn merchant. You're gonna die here. Alright, here we go. So you bought the no pawn sword. It's good, I like it. It's easier to use than I thought. I'm all set to go now. I... I... I don't know. I don't know if she's aware of it. I mean, the fact that she's asking me for either one, though, like, one that could win and one could lose, maybe she just is, doesn't realize this has poison on it. It's, time for the, it's almost time for the Lieutenant Colonel desk. So we'll see me through to victory. I won. I passed the test. Yep. But I don't want to talk now. I lost everyone's trust in me. Oh, no. You want a reward? Fine. Take a reward and go. There's no point to any of this anymore. Oh, that didn't seem good at all, did it? Holding it up on Claymore, she takes the test but wins in a dishonorable fashion. I don't know, that just seemed like a lose-lose situation. She's got an evil-looking smile here, though. It's interesting, actually, her face portrait changed a bit, didn't it? Oh, his did too! Hate! He looks pissed and she looks smug as shit. 
It seemed like she was regretful of it. Sympath sympathy from this guy. Huh. How could Amy Lita ever saw to such an ahead of means? Really, the rules don't... Do not explicitly forbid it. It wasn't a fight to the death. Should have done that. Do you think I sound like a sore loser making excuses? Now think that if you wish. But nobody else seems to see it that way. I've come all this way. Who would frame me? And why? Just leave me alone. I just... I don't know who to trust right now. I find myself suspecting everyone. Miller, Raul, even you guys. I'm really sorry. Oh, that is... <laughs> that doesn't seem good at all. I don't know if the other one would be any better, though, with her just losing miserably. She's gonna just feel horrible, all right? God, was that really my only two options? Motherfucker! That sucks. I actually went down in reputation I saw at one point. I, don't, uh, I didn't say beforehand. I should have. Otherwise, I would have checked and see what the other one did. I don't know. I don't know! What, are you guys, what did you guys do? Was that the better choice? I I don't know. Maybe I, I, I kind of feel like Either one's gonna be kind of shit, though. Okay, there's the big old monkey. I think if I go from the bottom, though, and just go around the back, I think I'll be all right. Whee! Oh, God, don't kill me. Ow. Oh, I'm all right. Oh, oh, this is what it... Okay. That's right. I forgot this path was blocked. This is what you need the dynamite for. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting that otherwise. Unless I can run past that guy, which I, maybe I can. If possible, I really would like to just get around you without, without having to go... Get fucking dynamite. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I'll just kill myself for you. How about that? Kuroki. You can't get Kuroki? Kuroki ain't here, but everything gets scary, so Kuroki stay put. Kuroki make it further than Nikita. Last time Nikita won it first. Won it. Who picked most beautiful flower first? Kuroki win this time. Now I have 156 wins to me and 156 wins to him. I'll go back. Kuroki tell everyone he beat Nikita. Nikita dead? <laughs> oh my god, I love the name of this quest too. A selfish girl's mistake. For saying her dumb, her two yeah. dumb boyfriends to die. All right, there's one dynamite. Number two. There's an area over here I missed. Whoa, there's a lot of crabbles. Oh, secret area. Want me dead for some reason. Oh, elegant Marin. Boom, gotcha. Let us remain vigilant. Victory to Ricky! Victory to Ricky! Ah, uh, now, now I've completed this whole, this whole area. There we are. That was the thing I was missing. There we go. Oh, mushroom caps. That was younger brother. There's a whole bunch of stuff I need to get in here. Okay, final bit of dynamite. Where the fuck is Nikita? I don't see him anywhere. A bone coin for something. What, what did I even need that for? Oh, right, the uh, one guy needed to, to do business. Oh, there he is. So he didn't even make it to... Okay, I, I, when he said I beat him here, I thought that uh, he meant that like he has beat him to the entrance to escape the mine. Like, they both went in and they were like, race to get out. No, they meant racing here. Uh, what, what, motherfucker? What, you want some of this? Oh, you're level 34. You're not... You're not necessarily a pushover here. Fuck off. First in. Boom! Who dares defy me? I got an achievement for something. Oh my god, no. Come on! <laughs> did I kill him before I fell off? I think I did. <sighs> what is up with that fucking knockback sometimes? No! Oh, god damn it. We did kill him. Here's his chest. 100th Hawk Spur. But unfortunately, I still fell off and died. Now I gotta redo this shit. God damn it. Oh my god, there goes Riki. Riki full of death. Where is he? Oh, there he is. God, that fucking move. Look at that. There it goes again. We. Oh, I need you back. <laughs> that move is a dick move. That Developers were totally going for that too, because you're on this tiny little platform, so they gave him this move that just lets it knock you the fuck off. Boom. Die. Ricky did get squished a few dozen times there. Thank you for coming to get me. I'm so scared. Listen, I get back to Colony 6 now. I'm sick of being afraid. I'm sick of being a little pussy ass bitch. Oh my god. Ah. Stupid squirrel. Hey girl, you just. 
Your friends almost died. I know, isn't that funny? Say them, didn't you? Thank you so much. And I'm sorry. I promise never. Can't ask them to do silly things again. And what if they never, they never come back? I don't want to lose them. Ross and Risteka won't make it again. All three are happy and safe once more. Ah, oh, thank God. Ricky get even stronger. Ricky get even stronger. <laughs> All right, how did that affect them? Ah, oh, friends always. Yay! I don't know why the fuck they want to be friends with her after that shit, but okay, fine. <laughs> At least it has a happy ending. That, uh, that's all that demon matters, really. Can't find my mom and dad anywhere. Do you think they got out in time? As long as I saw them, so they make it back here soon. Your parents are dead. Our friends found the keepsake. Thank, thank you, thank you. On behalf of my my brother Pon, thank you. The cap was very sad. Of course, my brother Pon was an idiot and a fool. My brother Pon was very loving all the same. <laughs> so doctor does miss him. I hope I was of some help. Yeah, Melly was a big help. Man, I see, like, this is like Riki and Melia are bonding the fuck up. I've only seen Charlotte and her, like, bond, like, once in these these quests here. Well, I don't like her. <laughs> thank you, young friends. I can't thank you enough. Iron armor. You know? Oh, he's got more. I need your help, friends. No, the keepsake of my, my dear idiot brother, Pon. Uh. So for the expression, this matter bothers bother the son. What to talk about? Oh, there we go. I feel better if you do. So, Doctor, I need you to lay it to rest with him and his lovely waffle pond. I, I just got it for you. Now you want to take it back and put it somewhere? Take, take it and put it back in the place where he found it. <laughs> rest with the honor memory of Mother Pond. Put it back the forest, place where you see great walls. It is tweed, no pond, custom to throw object to sit mentality into falls. Cast the mushroom cap from where a panoramic view of Mockdown Falls can be seen. Okay, that's. My last act for my brother Pond. Check as hard as you can, you hear me? I will check it good. This is like up here, right? Oh. oh I do have a different quest up here. Ah, uh, another Napo merchant. Wants me to go get some shit. Defeat Shimmering Forte near the X watering hole. On a hot day? Are there hot days here? I guess like the, the rainy days. Oh, I've got a nice view from here. Oh, oh, I can see it right there. How the hell do I get over there? How do I get over there? Like I can see to get that to that mining area is the spot that I'm looking at right across from here. But that spot's over there, and it doesn't seem to be a path over. A spot over here. Father, I have Woo! become stronger. Father, I have become stronger. Sparkling pool. Charlotte and Amelia, there we go. Hey, I can actually see that one. Amelia finally showed up on one of these. Oh, there's, oh, there she is. I swear she wasn't here like just a second ago. Okay, it does not get me where that cliff is though. There's a little island out here. Great Makna Falls. Oh yeah, I can actually get on. I actually can get on here. Not that there's really anything here. Oh yeah, you guys also pointed out, so apparently the, the, the weird names come from uh, basically, uh, our, par our party members are actually naming the items that we find. That I see. You should grow near clear waters. Eating it brings clarity. Like, for, like, the really weird ones, like, uh, what's that one? Forest of Gossip. D Dumb Ben sc scouted me as I he named this. It makes a lively sound in the wind. I call it Forest of Gossip. You would give it that, Dumb Ben. Sleep resist. I see. That's kind of cute. Adds a little more characterization, too. Okay, there's a spot up above me. Oh, maybe I. Oh, maybe I can't get it. Get there from where that mining area is. Oh, I can. Okay, never mind. Gato, I hope yes. Had to think this would be a secret spot. Divine sanctuary. This be the place that Tata was talking about. For the cap is fine, as he said. May you rest in peace. Her brah, try to get down there. And I shall go to <laughs> the house. Ah, <laughs> you gonna die! Ah, oh, oh my God! Ah! Oh, Ricky float to the top. Ah! Uh, <laughs> that hurt a bit. Oh. How's it going? Ewan. Really asked around. Thank you. It'll come in handy, I'm sure. Come on, Melia. Be proud of yourself, girl. Be proud, you say? You are correct, Charlotte. I am proud of the job I did. I did good. Yeah. Let me see, so I should pres big, I, I should big myself up, give her presents, and give compliments as well. Yeah, yeah, got it, thanks. 
I just have to find the coffins to put to use. Matura, here I come! Oh, there we go, I knew it! Guys, oh, he's got more! The advice you collected from you is perfect for writing my book. I've been sweating blood and tears to finish it for Matriona. Bayuk has to tell her everything I feel for her. But I'm worried about whether it will make her understand my feelings. Tell me in greater detail. Really, you prefer, you prefer people who are straight to the point, don't you? Uh, uh, what, what do you mean? Shut up, Sharla! N no, now is not the time. I must focus on this person's plight. <laughs> oh my god, she's so fucking adorable. She won't, will she? I said I was ready, but I just can't find the courage to hand it to her. That's why I've decided to go on a trip to find some courage. That sounds dangerous, Ewan. It's no walk in the park outside of the colony. Don't you think I know that? But I have to go. When I face a terrible beast, I'll face this a man. And then run away as a pussy little kitten. Then I'll have the courage to give Mitrona my book. Mitrona isn't a monster. She won't bite your head off. <laughs> well, I understand that. But if she rejects me, it'll be worse than being eaten alive. Head in the direction of the Ether Miner's Toral Marsh and protect Ewan from harm. Oh. Either or. I don't know which one's the right way to go. Thank you, friends. My destiny's my own now. Count on your support if things get rough out there, right? I must decide whether to go to Ether Mines or Storm Marsh. I find myself in a pickle. You'll come help me, right? Thanks, I appreciate it. Yeah, fuck. He's gonna die out there. <gasps> what is courage? Stay first, young ones. Hand over that dynamite. <laughs> I'll blow you, blast you, and you're ready to get to the top of the valley. Man's a blast you in the room without killing myself. I know where I opened up the new route. And the bomb, uh, okay, yeah, pay from the bomb up, and yeah, I see. I don't understand what that was all for. That, those rocks are sitting there. All right, let's go talk to <laughs> Satata. Thank you, a million thanks, thank yous. Now the keep saying it's return, my brother pawn is at peace. This is a gift, and thank you from me and my brother pawn. Jungle shoes. Got stung again. Got stung again, what up? I've got jungle booties on. Oh, there he is. Oh my god, I'm going to die! I think it's terrifying, but maybe I can handle it. No, it's too dangerous. I'm going to get eaten! They sell my tick down the elegant moon for me! Where? Where is it? I don't see it. I think it's terrifying. Maybe I... Where? I don't see him! Take down elegant moon for me. I don't see him anywhere. Oh, that's right. I, that's right. I came here and killed him the first time I showed up here. God damn it. That's... That's really annoying. I, I really wish it was like it remembered that you killed these things, you know? It was the same thing as what happened with the, the Zaza dude with the bird. I mean, I, I suppose in this it, sense, it does make a little more sense because he is actually like here with me. But the other one, it's like, I wish it just was like, hey, I'd already killed him. So I guess I gotta keep like reloading until this guy shows up. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so just gotta keep reloading and he'll eventually show up. Still, it is rather awkward, or especially, I mean, if, at the very least, they can have him respawn again for a quest, right? If the guy is here and he's freaking out about it. I feel the power throwing through me! Woo! Get up on Mighty Cool! Woo! Burn! Boom! Okay, stupid, I finally killed the non existent monster. I could have handled that, I didn't need your help. Anyway, I feel brave enough to get my book to Mitriona now. Thank you. Fuck better, dude. Puss out now, I swear to God. I shall build his courage now he's ready to confess his love to Mitriona. Let's go see how it, how it goes. Who would believe it even if I told you? The look Olga used to give me was scarier than a rabid vulse. It all changed after Mitriona showed her my picture book. Olga came to, to me today. I'm sick of feeling sorry for myself and done with it. I gotta pull my socks off and help people out here. Did, did you talk to her? Oh, there she is. Hello there. Are you the people who were helping out Ewan? Well, I paid a picture for Ewan as wonderfully written as his book. I assume from their expression that this matter, this matter bothers them. <laughs> a little thought bubble. Thing is, I don't have all the materials I need to make the paint. Uh, of course you don't. Middle of an artist's funk, you might say. Tell me out. Mitriona, this is amazing. What are you going to say to him? Tell me! Give me the deets! I'm dying to find out. I can't tell you. It's a secret. I'm still deciding how best to express my feelings on campus. But don't worry, Charlotte. By the time you return with what I need, I'll have made up my mind. If you say so, Mitriona. But remember, follow your heart. Follow your nose, wherever it goes! <laughs> That's right. That's what the Fruit Loops slogan was. I fucking finally remember. It's follow your nose, wherever it goes, to the flavors of fruits, wherever it grows! Yes! Oh my god. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I brought that up like 
five episodes ago, and I was like, what? What is the Fruit Loops thing? But it finally came to me. I just woke up in the middle of the night. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I need one of the following materials to be my picture. A light drop from the boss's leg or a nasty weave from Satoru. Oh, I've got a light drop. I will have to decide how to best paint the picture when you return. Uh oh, oh, I see. I'm also seeing, okay. I, if I had used the light drop before, that would have ended that this quest. This I wouldn't have been able to do this, would I have? Because it... Because I, I remember a while back, it's a little confusing, but like it would have it would have made it, I think, impossible to do these quests, right? Because I would have used the lake drop for something else. But I imagine if I give a, a nasty weed, she'll end up he'll end up hating it, right? But lake drop is the good thing that she needs. Or maybe I could do these quests, but I'd be stuck with the nasty weed. Sorry, I have to go so far to get them. <laughs> I mean, really, the, a nasty weed? That's the one. It's like. So let's see, I can choose between beautiful fluorescent paint or this shit colored weed. <laughs> Wonder what he will like the best. Please be careful. You brought me a light drop. It's exactly what I need to finish all my painting. So that the fishing touches, will you wait here while I finish? Come on, baby. There, I'll finish. Please give this to Ewan. Do you hope he likes it? Put my whole heart into it. Beautiful portrait. Uh... Is that Matryona's painting? So she's answering me with a painting. Only a creative, talented woman such as her would think of that. Let me take a closer look. Oh my god, what is this? It's brilliant! I can feel its warmth, the kindness exploding from the canvas. Quick, I need you to go and tell Matrona I love it. Tell her I will come see her later on. We will make sweet, sexy love. She's right over here, dude. Just do it yourself, you <laughs> pussy. What do you say? I directed the portrait. Of you and I can be together just like in the portrait. I don't know how to thank you. Maybe one day I can paint you and your friends together. Watch your stunning portrait made with the item you found. It's probably you and her together. Yes! Ah! Matchmaker! I will use my power to Matchmaker Nico. I will use the power to do what I need to do. Yes! Likes! Oh, we did it, guys! We fucking finally did it. It only took like a million side quests, but we did it. I would never have gotten together with Michiona without your help. Thank you means a lot. God, I can only imagine if you did the nasty one, it probably would have been some horrible thing, right? You probably would have hated it, and then it would have been like the worst ending to this quest. After all the hard work you put into it. So this will be fine. We'll soldier on together. As long as I have Matryoda, I know I could be a better person. Alright, housing level two. So it seems like, I think as you, well, upgrade. Wait, did it, did it expand the area? Oh, it did. Yeah, it did. It expands the area when you go to level two. Oh, well, you stick in level one. I think it all just kind of stays within the same area. Yeah, there we go. All right, that's good for the time being. Let's go ahead and head further into uh, Machna Forest and uh, go do what, what? What are you trying to do? Uh, it seems that Ether Crystal Skill Telethia. The party said to look for more Ether Crystals in Machna Forest. Okay. Okay, gotta go all the way over here. The bottom right side. Let us go. Oh, Windmill Pavilion. Oh, look at these things. This they like no those little uh, uh, things from Star Wars, whatever they're called. With the sticks. Who did your sidekick do good? Sidekick? The fuck you say? Oh, like crap, look at that big old thing. Assembla, Assembula Maruga. He's chasing, a he's chasing after the little thing. Me gonna get you. <laughs> Save me. <laughs> now, nah. why are you just standing there watching you bastards? Abyss Basin. Whoa, look at that. Oh my God, it's a fucking pterodactyl. Cor Corrible Terex. Oh my God, I think he's... That might be the strongest thing I've come across. It's almost level 99. I wonder if they're actually possible for the monsters to go above level 99 to like level 100. I mean, it does has three numbers next to their names, suggesting that there could be a triple digit level as well. And if that's the case, I wonder if I can get to a level, like over level 100. Precipice, Precipice Bridge. Oh dear. Oh God, oh God, they're doing a chain attack. You guys point this out, so this is... So it is actually possible for the enemies to also do a chain attack of their own. Ah, there's a monster quest done. Okay, that one's done. Yeah, I'm liking playing as Melia here. She's she's really powerful. 
Messing around with her buffs and her, her spells are really cool. Very interesting. Oh my god. Dinos. Oh my god, even stronger than the Pterodactyl. Dinosaurus. Ah, I see what you did there. <laughs> Come on, you want to fight with me? Level 98. We can do this, guys. Oh, wait, no. No, we definitely cannot. What is this? Ricky never see before. This not Ricky's Machna. Ricky never see before. To uh -oh. think it has caused this much damage. What do you mean? Are you telling me that Telethia did this? Telethia absorb and drain the surrounding area of all its ether. That's it. The Telethia is sucking up all the ether, which is causing the natural environment to change. Shulk, the Telethia can read your mind. Expect it to know what you will do before you do it. I know. I'll aim for its antenna and stop its ability to read my thoughts. With the Monado at our side, it doesn't stand a chance. It's much more powerful than its offspring. Do not expect it to fall so easily. I won't. But we have to trust in the Monado. Shulk has only met Telethia once, and they were merely the spawn. So why is he so sure of himself? Is it confidence, or a trust in something? Yes, it is trust. He trusts in the power of that sword. What did he say it was called? The Monado. I see. Oh god. Stick together everyone. Dino beast, big as Ricky imagined. The Telethia. I take this chance to bring vengeance to my brethren and fulfill my duty. Shulk, I will trap it and cease its movement. Strike when the time is right. Melia! <sighs> Oh, power! Oh, yeah! She's nifty with that stuff! <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> I wish you I could do that! To energy ...without using catalysts or rifle shells. I've heard that such people exist. But I never thought she would be one. Shulk! Right! Shala! Protect Melia at all costs! On it! Right! Ah! I'm gonna switch back to. Okay, good, yes. I'm right gonna. Definitely gonna need uh, Shulk for this one. Alright, Shulk, let's do it. Melia, new art blur. Blast! My blast! Yes! Doesn't seem to have activated Nora. Yet. All right. I'm okay, okay. Get the aggro off me. Okay, here we go. So so read. Got to build. Hold on, I got to build up my thing though. Wait, how do I build it up when he's No, wait. Here we go. Build the talent gauge. We can definitely do this. There we go. This is the Monado's power. Boom. Right here. I see it. I can see it. Ah. 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 Right. I'm feeling it. That's the Ricky Ricky. Why can't I warn anybody? Oh, because my thing's not up on up. Oh, that's not good. This is gonna hurt. Ah. Ah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what's he doing? Super Aura. Ah, oh, stabbing the fuck out of him. Done ban time. Yeah. Bruh! 
an icky belly bounce. Oh, hey. You've got to be kidding me. Got to be shitting my dick now. My ether shots are having no effect. It's regenerative power is too much. It is all right, Shulk. Destroying the Telethia is beyond us. We should cut our losses and mourn those who perished. Fuck you, no! The men you lost, I can tell they were dear to you. I know only too well that desire for revenge. And the crushing pain of losing those close to you. I can't stand by unless another person experience what I have. This monster is going down. I'll trap him with the Monado. Then the rest of you hit the Telethia with everything you have. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh -huh. This music fills my balls with so much hope. Here we go. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it, his health regenerated. Fuck. <laughs> ah! Oh! <laughs> okay, guys. Now we're pulling together. Yes, I can Light heal. My thanks. Uh, oh no! Wake up. Okay. <laughs> we can eat afterwards, Ricky. <laughs> we can eat afterwards, Ricky. God, Just for the love you. of all that is holy. <laughs> ah! Okay, here we go. Soul Reed. Ah, power hurt. We can definitely do this. This isn't going well. This is not going well. Oh. Ah, Shadow's Eye. Just what I needed. Just what I needed. Uh, he's like, ow! Stop stabbing me in butthole! The leakies are going crazy! Could well be Ricky! Don't know what you're saying, but things are happening. Oh god, here comes the super aura! Not this day! No! Oh god. Get the aggro off me! Ah. Oh, that's right! Chain attack, guys! Here we go! Okay, uh... Let's go with blue. Okay, uh... Got it! Got it! Keep building the chain! Oh, god damn it! I was trying to use blue, because she only has blue and purple. I don't have any purple here, so... Wasn't really a good uh, way to really chain attacks together. I was hoping I could loop back around and get to her, and then have her do a move. Whatever. Whatever, it's fine. Yes, gotcha. Fucking day. Ah, your pokes hurt. Taste my force lightning! Oh my god, we're all working together! It's so beautiful! Unleash your power! I'm bursting! Boom! Oh! Oh, sweet light! And then he just kind of shrinks down into nothing. Brilliant thinking. 
Even though the Telethia can absorb large amounts of ether energy and regenerate at an incredible rate, absorbing so much energy caused it to implode. Who would have thought? Brute force wins again. <laughs> Nothing like an old-fashioned scrap. Hell Dixon yeah. would have been proud. It was the only way I could think of. If there had been another way... Don't listen to Dunban. Soon you and that Monado will be unstoppable. It's like a Tefra cave. It was almost natural, instinctive. The Monado responded to me, and I harnessed a new power. You'll get your chance, Shulk. We'll turn that face mech on into scrap. I know. That's what keeps me going. Really oh sad. God. Garin. Damiel Eisel. Are you there? I did it. It's dead. Did you see? Yeah. I thank you for your aid in my cause. Justice has been served. Justice! Besides, it was mostly you. Dino Beast! Here upon Ricky, ready for round two! Nah. Hey, hey! A fight over already? No, oh, Ricky, not no! I'm afraid it's all finished. Oh, we have Ricky! Done it without you, brave little here upon. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky, brave! Ryan, also a little brave. Ricky, happy, happy! But only a little! <laughs> Here upon Ricky, be proud! Here upon Ricky, tough guy! Here upon Ricky, bestest! Look at him. Barely hit a toe and he gets all the praise. <laughs> oh, let him have his glory. A few days ago, the villagers wouldn't give him the time of day. Besides, won't you miss him just a little bit? No! Longer, Ricky beat Dino Beast. Does Ricky still have debt? Are you shitting me? Do you realize how big your debt is? You owe us 450 million rupu dupus. You won't be able to pay that back. In the three millennia, you'll be alive. No, Ricky. Your debts are repaid. However, while you were gone, your little ponds ate like ravenous oluga. Ah. It set Chief Dunga back. Quite a bit. Oh. No pawn, no frontier village. A new prophecy has been told. It's Our kids, little pawns. Pawn, slayer of Dino Beast, will further his legend by accompanying the Hom Hom on their travels. Ryan's like, what the fuck? Peace to the lands of Bionis. Oh, Ricky never hear this. Ricky! This was prophesized many years ago. <laughs> I decided it now. You eat all our food and, and impregnate all my women. Get the shit out of here. I'm tired of you and sexing up all the goddamn people here. All right, there are too many babies. Way too many babies. But Ricky can tell piece a bit of a lady killer. Goddamn you and your beautiful belly. If only I could get a belly that fat. Fuck. All I have is this glorious hair. He's lying. Chief, make a prophecy one minute ago. Oh, Ricky man! <laughs> Ricky man! Go with these people. <laughs> For the sake of the village, you must go. Just, just go. Your instinct is never wrong. Never. <gasps> Do not Ricky worry, don't want to. Ricky. Your little puns will be taken care of. <laughs> We're gonna eat them. Dada Pun stomach rumble. <laughs> Dada Pun need food. Dada Pun need food now. Dada, Ricky, what on by honest is going on? Friends, meet Ricky, wifey Pun, and little Pun. Oh my God! I've got to be joking. Oh my God! And children. Ricky, how old are you? Ricky have forty years. <laughs> oh. Friends look puzzled. <laughs> Ricky been around the block if you know what Ricky means. Not puzzled, just surprised. Shock's like, Ricky got laid before I did? What the fuck? Ricky, Oka borrow monies for Little Pond's food. Chief Danga know best. Ricky must work for Little Pond's to have good life. <laughs> he will. Oka, Oka. <laughs> Ricky, happy <laughs> to join friends. Ryan happy too. Come on, Furball. You fucking cut. <laughs> now you 
can return with your head held high, my dear. <laughs> Indeed. Thank you, Dunga. My thanks for your gracious help. Not at all. Peace has been restored to the Makna region. On behalf of all Nopon, thank you. Chief Dunga is very fond of Melia. Same Hom Hom, different world. Not fair if you ask me. Chief Dunga, will you kindly grant these Homs passage to Aerith Sea? It is my promise to them. Without question! These Hom Hom fought valiantly in aid of our village, and a request by you, my dear, cannot go unanswered. I shall inform the villagers at once. You are too kind. You better let us through. The chief has spoken. You should depart for Erith Sea at once. Prepare your things and see me when you are ready. We did it, guys. Kick the shit out of that Telethia. The fuck is that sound? Here, like a burp, burp, burp. What is that? I don't know. It's driving me crazy. All right, guys. Well, this seems like a good place to end things here for now. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite. And subscribe if you're already a Peaky Penguin. For this LP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.